Hello everybody and welcome to this short piece in aid of Jamie's Mental Health Awareness Shabbat. When my children were younger and they used to be nervous about putting their hands up and asking questions at school, I used to say to them, you can't know what you haven't been told. And when I think about mental health, I often think of the phrase, you can't know what you can't see. What is mental health? Our ability to regulate our moods, think, feel and behave in the world in ways that fulfil our potential, to cope with feelings of intense distress and overwhelm, and manage our need for food, sleep, activity and purpose, establishing fulfilling relationships with others and work. Our mental health is any and all of these, and it's not static. Our mental health, like our physical health, does not remain the same across our lifetime. It fluctuates. Life events, challenges, traumas, these all impact us, reducing our internal resources and resilience. Sometimes we thrive, often we merely survive, and at other times we may feel like we're sinking, going under, in need of support and lifelines. When our genetics, biology, psychological state and social context collide in such a way, our mental health can interfere with our functioning and it can interfere with such severity and frequency that we may obtain a diagnosis of anxiety, depression, OCD, bipolar disorders, eating disorders, and schizophrenia. We can't know what we can't see. When someone walks into shore with their leg in plaster, we see, we know to get them a chair, move obstacles out of their way, and ask how they're doing. You can't know what you can't see. We don't know whether that noise of the scraping chair is just one sensory overload too much that's taken someone closer to a meltdown. Whether the busy greetings of Shabbat Shalom and exchange of pleasantries is actually causing internal panic for the man over there with social anxiety. Or whether that woman in the green dress who has just walked into the building actually required the effort of climbing Everest for her to get, simply get out of bed and washed and dressed this morning. Or the crisps that that young girl just ate at Kiddish have made the screaming bully in her head mock her for how worthless she is as she vows not to eat lunch to compensate. Or moving that dusty chair and then going up to shake the Bermitzvah boy's hand has caused his contamination anxiety and subsequent safety rituals to skyrocket. We can't know what we can't see. And that's the point of Mental Health Awareness Shabbat for me. We may not know, but we need to be aware of these possibilities and hold it in mind that people may be struggling in ways we just can't see or know about. Holding this awareness, so we check ourselves on the many assumptions and judgments we make without thinking. Holding this awareness, so we can create an environment where stigma is reduced and an atmosphere that makes it easier for one person to say to another, you know, it wasn't so easy for me getting here today. I'm struggling. We all need to be aware and awareness can start close to home by checking in with ourselves. At New North London, we usually organize an event around mental health awareness Shabbat, a speaker, a panel. We include it in our programming of events. This January, for a variety of pandemic and other reasons, the professional team have become aware that we too are in need of a recharge, a respite. And so, as you know, we are taking a quiet month. You cannot pour from an empty cup. And so we will not be putting on an event this January. Instead, we ask that all of us remember that this mental health awareness Shabbat, you don't always know what you can't see. Thank you.